Hey guys, pretty exciting stuff. We we felt like uh, Wild West Adventures route running a train um, <laughs> as we ran across the tracks. A not not that we condone that. That would be very risky. Yeah. But we're not risk adverse either. We yeah. just are smart. We thought it was a, right around the corner, but it's still yet to come. So that's kind of fun. Oh, I hear it. Or is that a car? I don't know. But we're having a good time, taking lots of pictures, seeing uh, here he comes. three churches already. Oh, here it comes. That's cool. This is something. It's exciting because you do a lot of normal trail walking. And to have something switch it up like this is kind of fun. So, so last night we spent the night in Saria. And we are on our way to Porto Marin. Good stuff. We'll leave you with this cool Spanish train. Got some hikers stuck on the other side there. All right. Good times. They're smart. Go from hiking alone, hours on end, to a scene like this. In a matter of day, one one day. <laughs> That's a fact. Pretty cool. I just want to take this time and say these cows are utterly beautiful. Utterly, I get it. Ah! Hey, don't let this fool you because dad went ahead and bought anyway. So, guess whose pack that's going in? So this is an important part because there's actually two paths and uh, they lead to the same bridge but I went on the path to the right. I was about a mile and a half, maybe two ahead of dad and dad went to... Yeah, this is where all the Robert Frost enthusiasts will say the path less followed. So I went to the path less followed. No, no, no. You went to the main path. I went to the alternate path. 
I went the right way. Alex went the wrong way. It's all good. <laughs> right. And uh, soon you'll see Dad's way and how... Let's just say my way became... Or there was a reason it was less traveled. No, no. Yours was more traveled. No, it was less traveled. It no. was treacherous. No, no. You got it wrong. Okay, so my path was not nearly as steep, and it allowed me to meet two people from Spain who filled me in on some of the history. And my path made it feel like you should have been a billy goat if you really wanted to travel that path. Hey, just a quick video. I went ahead of Dad. He's actually on the bridge. He's coming across on the right. You won't be able to see him. But this awesome river, I met two uh, young uh, uh, ladies from Spain. And they told me some history. So I figured I'd jump ahead and actually get the scoop before Dad does. So th this entire city used to be in the river. You can kind of see like right there. And their, uh, Spain's dictator, Franco, actually wanted to move the entire city up this hill because he wanted a lake here. So brick by brick, there's actually a church up here that they moved from the middle of the river um, to the top of where the city now sits. So it's pretty cool. And uh, I'll follow it up with some pictures of the church when we get a chance. And here is the church that was reconstructed brick by brick. Here's a picture. I've been up here for like two hours waiting for Dad at this point. <laughs> Thank you. 
this is our photo of the day and mainly because many of the horses are kind of far off away and they don't really care for you but this guy was a real attention horde it was mr ed and he liked mr edwards and he said hey i heard you were with my uh, cousins the jackasses earlier so let me uh let me cozy up to you so it was cool yeah we had a lot of fun and uh the pilgrims before us were petting the the main and stuff but he seemed to not like that too much so we didn't try and test our luck at all he was biting the steel bar yeah he wanted us to let him out i think so no no thanks i thought about it because i mean what a you're, you're such a pushover man no no i wouldn't yeah, no you you want to let the damn horse out yeah i wanted to ride it into town like i own the <laughs> thing Stay tuned and thank you for watching. Yeah, hey, thanks for watching, guys.